watching Cooking in the Kitchen with Rita and Anna. Okay, so today we will be making a special Peruvian traditional dessert. This dessert is called Suspiro Limonade Ingredients. So let's start with some. The first thing we have is one fourth of a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and ours is from McCormick. The next thing we have is we have a little bowl to beat two egg yolks and two egg whites, so basically just one, two full eggs. Um, next we have one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and ours is from Rodel. The next thing we have is Nestle Carnation um, evaporated milk, and you're going to need one 12 fluid ounce can for this dish. You are also going to need one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk from, ours is from Eagle Brand. Um, you're going to need confectioner sugar, it's very powdery, um, ours is from Domino. And also you're just going to need your cups and measuring, other measuring cups, a big bowl to mix all your ingredients, and spatulas for that too. So now once we have all of our ingredients, we are going to mix them into the big bowl and start making them. The next step is to pour all the ingredients into the big bowl from liquids to solids. There goes the evaporated milk. Condensed milk. Vanilla extract. Now we're to speed this up a little. We're gonna pour some in while this is also dripping. So we're gonna pour our sugar in. That's a lot of sugar. And now we're gonna pour our cinnamon in. And make sure to get rid of everything. The process a bit. So now that we've mixed all the ingredients into a bowl, we are now gonna put that all the ingredients from the bowl into a pot. And now we're going to put the pot onto the stove with the parent's supervision. And now we are going to turn the stove on. And as it cooks, we want to use a spatula and stir the mixture until it almost hardens. This should take about 30 minutes on a spin. You want to be stirring consistently so that it hardens correctly. Is now that our mixture is not completely hard but somewhat hard, make sure our oven is off, which it clearly is. Grab our mitts. Just because the metal's gotten pretty hot after cooking for so long. After cooking for 30 minutes. Yep. Take our spatula and we want to pour it. Here we go. And kind of just make sure you don't get it on our face. Spoon it into the big bowl. It's very hot, so don't like test it, like taste test it or anything. With your fingers. It is extremely hot. And I don't want that. Scrape out whatever's left. You want to get all of it. Every last drop. And now what we want to do, Anna, wait, will you hold this? Here you go. We want to get our plastic wrap. Uh, we're using the glad press and seal, which is usually what most people use. So we're going to measure it. Okay. And then we're going to...
going to place it over and hope that it fits. And it just fits. Make sure it fits like very tightly over it. So. And if not, you can use some tape. But we don't have any tape right now. So. And make sure that um, stays fresh. We are going to put another thing on. Sorry about my sloppy um, essence seal in this stuff. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to put it in the refrigerator. Wherever you can find space. So. Let's put it in the freezer, please. The freezer. freezer. <laughs> yeah. Um, ah, bummer. Wherever you can really find space. And, and let it sit there for are, about three hours. Yeah, we do. Okay, so this is the final result of our Peruvian dish. And this is the part that you watched us make. And this is whipped cream because usually they use like, Peruvians use a thick cream. But it's just whipped cream. So we are going to try it. Three, two, one. Mm, it's actually not that bad. Ooh. Thank you for watching us make our Korean dessert.